Hi, this is George Ray with Evolve. Today we're going to look at a quick setup tip for Aqualon from Analog Way and Dante Audio. So I'm hooked up right now to an Aqualon RS4, but this applies to the entire Aqualon chassis range. If we look at the Dante configuration from the factory, the Dante Ethernet mode is in switched mode, and you'll see one network interface. If I pull over, here is the back of the RS4. Down here are the two Dante network connections. For most live events, this top connection, number one, is going to be your primary network. And number two is going to be set up or configured for redundancy. However, from the factory, the Aqualons network connections are set up in switched mode. We need to change that, which will make your audio department very, very happy. It's very simple to do. So here on the Dante audio page, you can see there's the Aqualon ID. There's the Dante Audio version, software version for the Dante Audio uh, software. And then the Ethernet is in switch mode, and I have one network. I should see a primary and a backup connection. Here's how to change that. The first trick is you can't do it from the WebRCS page. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to change my IP address. So uh, I'm going to go properties and Dante works perfectly well on a pre on a DHCP style or automatic IP addressing. A master Dante device on the network will address everybody else as they <clears throat> log in to the network. So once I've changed that address you see I lost my connection to WebRCS, but I can now go to my Dante controller software. So let me open this up from the beginning and show you what this is. This is from Audionate. It's free software. You need to download it from the Audionate website. And to download it, you need to create a free account on their site. Audionate is Dante's master. Uh, they're, they're the company behind uh, the Dante standard. So I've opened up Dante controller. As soon as I do, it says, hey, you have two transmitters. You have a receiver over here. The receiver is the Aqualon transmitter. You have an Aqualon in my laptop. Double click on the Aqualon. This opens up the Aqualon page for the specific information. Got a network config. Currently, switched mode. Turn that to redundant mode. Are you sure you want to? Yes, we're sure we want to. Once you've set it into redundant mode, click reboot. Are you sure you want to reboot? Yes. This is not rebooting the Aqualon main CPU. All this does is reboot the Dante controller card. So while that is rebooting, I'm going to go back to my 192 address. Click OK, click OK. And then when I refresh WebRCS, so here we are on the Dante page again. Once we refreshed, now we see the Aqualon. It's in redundant mode, and we have two different network connections. A couple of last tips. This page and these settings do not reset or change when you do reset either the default or the out of the box. The Dante page only resets 
when you click this factory reset here. So once this is configured, as long as nobody resets the Dante page directly, it stays like this regardless of the factory or out-of-box resets done to the main Aqualon uh, firmware. You can also restart the Dante page here, and if you're looking at the front of the Aqualon, you'll notice it tells you that Dante is rebooting, but your video will stay active while this reboots. And if I hit reboot, I can go to my screens page, I can go to my multi-viewers page, my output page, every, all the rest of the web RCS stays connected while the Dante card is rebooting. So it's completely independent. I recommend for staging companies, set up an account and download Dante Controller. It's free software. And that way you can set up the Dante card. That's the only thing you have to do to, to set it up very quick, very simple. And then your Dante network is up and going with primary and redundant with 128 audio channels, 64 inputs, and 64 outputs from the Aqualon. Again, this is George Ray with Evolve. I hope this tip helped you. This was Dante configuration on the Analog Way Aqualon.